Hi guys, it's David from Automotive Press. I'm in Japan at the Tahara plant and the really interesting showroom here indicating some of the latest manufacturing technique designed to make vehicle bodies lighter, stronger, and most beautiful. And the technology behind it might blow your mind because most manufacturers may not go this far in making sure that the body, which is usually covered up, has a perfect manufacturing system underneath, again, to make it lighter, more beautiful, and stronger. So as an example, I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff here. Here is the actual side view of the Lexus LS. So this is broken up into pieces. And traditionally speaking, in order to put all the parts together and to strengthen them, we use what we call spot welding, which I'll show you a little bit later in a, a film there. And you can see the red marks are all spot welded place. And this is traditionally the only way to bring metal pieces together, then we use a little clamp and pressure and arm pressure and voltage to melt the pieces of metal together and then fuse them together. And that's when you see sparks flying off the air. I was a former body shop slash body engineer. Uh, so I did extensive work in the welding department. So this is very much a familiar story for me. But the problem with the, uh, this type of spot welding is cumbersome, it's heavy. The actual machinery used to do the actual spot welding is also very cumbersome and therefore it's not always convenient. So what they have now begun to do is to incorporate what we call laser welding or more specifically laser screw welding where they use a powerful laser to literally carve out and melt part of the metal from one side actually to fuse the metal together. And this way, you can actually fuse the metals together much faster, smoother, one piece flow as opposed to spot, spot, spot. And also it's just more aesthetically speaking, a better finish. So you can see the yellow laser welded spots all across the board. And this will allow the body frame to be much more of a stronger unit. It has a, a more of a, a durable finish. It's also just more rigid, so rigidity is improved dramatically. And because the laser welding is more accurate, you can space them apart really close together. You can see that. Whereas with the spot welding, you gotta keep some distance between and among them because you can't put it so close together. And so laser welding, faster, better aesthetic finish, and it's a great way to supplement the traditional spot welding and when you use both of them together, then you have a really rigid body, structurally speaking, and that creates a quieter, more, uh, better NVH for a vehicle. They also use some structural adhesive to glue uh, here as well. You can see the green lines. That's where the structural adhesives would have been used as well. So that's one way to improve that. I'm gonna just show you a short video here, and you can see the difference uh, in terms of spot welding versus uh, laser welding. So this is traditional laser welding. You have your copper tips, uh, and then you bring together, you run high voltage and amperage, and when you put the metal pieces in between, it melts, literally melts the, the metal that you can see here, and then it fuses together. It's structurally a very important part of the uh, body manufacturing, because without that, if the car gets into an accident, obviously you're not gonna have any kind of protection. So you can see the robotics here. In most automakers, the body shop or body welding is all automated by robotics, typically 90 to 95% automated. I was an automation slash body shop engineer for many years, so I designed this equipment, and therefore um, I know how difficult it is to do it right. But that was laser welding, you can see. It just goes much faster. It is not stop and go, stop and go, but it just goes right through, and it's doing it from one side. So you can see, why it's called laser screw welding. It's literally like carving out, <laughs> like screwing into the metal and melting it in place and fusing the metal together, a much more advanced type of technology for laser welding. But there's more I want to show you. So that's one aspect of this particular body, uh, but also in this Lexus LS, you can make it lighter by using some uh, giga casting. So you guys know Tesla was the first to introduce giga casting, which is a way to melt aluminum and put it into a mold. And it's faster way to produce a part. It's also stronger. Also, you're not welding a whole bunch of pieces together. So you make it easier, simpler, uh, but obviously a little bit more difficult way to manufacture. So this whole thing is an aluminum uh, casting. 
that came out of a, a giga casting type equipment. This is very small. Tesla uses a much larger casting for the front section and the back section. So you can bet that in the future models that Lexus and Toyota will introduce more and more giga casting type parts. But for now, this is one part still replacing a whole bunch of parts and it's much stronger and most important of all, it's lighter because it's a, basically a melted aluminum that has come together. So that's another aspect of what they're doing to make uh, cars lighter, more beautiful, and also more structurally sound. Another example is between the roof and the rails over here. Traditionally speaking, we spot welded them here, and you can see the spot welding right here. And because it's ugly and messy, we had to put the strip to cover it. So if you see, look at the older Lexus model, this is what they had. But the new technology uses bronze welding. So I think we call it brazing in some, some language. But you melt the bronze and you put that seam all the way across here. And I'll show you a little bit of uh, a film clip there as well. And this way is a much neater, much cleaner approach to welding the roof together with the side panel. Uh, the bronze is melted, is literally laid across the uh, seam. And then they also use multiple stages of um, grinding and sanding to make this extremely smooth. So we don't end up with this ridiculous looking piece of plastic that you have to place over, but this will be final finish. You paint it and it looks like one piece basically. So that's another way to increase the structural rigidity while making it look beautiful. So let me show you the film clip of that in here. Again, it's called the um, brazing, where the bronze is literally deposited, is melted along the seam here, and then the machine will then grind off to smooth out the surfaces. Uh, but you can't quite take all the roughness out with the machine, so an actual Lexus production worker will get involved and does further refinement by grinding even more. And this is a multiple step process just to make sure that the roof and the side panel are mated and fused together. It takes multiple effort to get it all smooth using human hands and human experience with a Takumi specialist. And finally, you have a roof uh, that is perfect, just as beautiful as the rest of the body without having those uh, welding spots. So that's the final thing they did to make sure that we have a beautiful body that's welded properly, uh, has aluminum component mixed in with steel components using the latest technology. And you can see how big this piece is. That's the final finish over there, the Lexus LS. And you can bet in the future we will have more and more of laser welding, giga casting, aluminum parts, uh, that kind of stuff to increase and um, the efficiency and also the beauty of the, these cars. I can't quite show you the weight because you're not here with me, but this is aluminum piece. This is the equivalent size steel piece, 126 gram. This is 356 gram. This is pretty heavy. This one feels really light. And so that is the advantage of using aluminum in case you guys are wondering why so many cars have aluminum components and parts is simply to reduce weight there's no other easier, more efficient way to reduce the weight of it. So they're trying to replace as many of the parts to aluminum as possible, but not everything, because ultimately steel is still strong in terms of providing that structural rigidity. So uh, lots of interesting technology behind some of the latest technique in manufacturing. I hope you learned one or two things. Many of these things apply to Lexus as an exclusive manufacturing method, but of course some of them carries over the Toyota models as well. I hope you learned something. Until next video, I'm signing off for now.